Hey, I just made a video called um, <clears throat> The Day of Christ versus The Day of the Lord, or The Secret of the Day of Christ versus The Day of the Lord. Anyway, so this is a video kind of in the same vein as that. A brother spoke to me about this recently, and he reminded me of something that I've looked into before myself. And that is that some people try to separate the Book of Life and the Lamb's Book of Life. So this video here is The Secret of the Book of Life versus The Lamb's Book of Life. And the secret is that they are the exact same thing, just like the day of the Lord is the same as the day of Christ. You see, the book of life is spoken of in the Old Testament, and any of the Jews or anyone would know that the book of life belongs to God. But wait a second, in the New Testament we hear about the Lamb's book of life. And who is the Lamb? The Lamb would be Jesus Christ, the Lamb who was slain before the foundation of the earth. So, the Lamb is Jesus Christ? So the book of life belongs to God, the book of life belongs to Christ. Oh, wait a second, that puts Christ on equal authority with God the Father. Oh, wait a second, so then Christ himself must be divine. Yes, indeed, Christ is God, so this is a proof of Christ's deity. And that's the only difference, okay? There's a difference in titles for different reasons to... Uh, to ascribe to the deity of Christ. And I've done a study on the deity of Christ that I still haven't finished, and it's already been multiple videos and multiple parts with evidence after evidence after evidence after evidence in Scripture that Christ is God. And for anyone to say otherwise is foolishness, because there's so much evidence of it, it's overwhelming. It's, uh... So this is just another thing that dispensationalists, they try to separate these things. Um, so there, there's distinctions, but it's the same book, and uh, there's a reason for the different title, and that is to show that Christ has equal authority with God the Father, and that Christ is God. Uh, the same goes for the judgment seat of Christ. You know, uh, why they try to separate the... Uh, the judgment seat, and they try to separate the judgment seat of Christ. And I said, that's all foolishness too. It's called the judgment seat of Christ because Christ is the judge, because Christ is on equal authority with God the Father. That's why it's called that. It's the same thing, okay? And it's not, not specifically some literal physical throne or seat that he sits on. Anyway, it's, you know, to, to say that he has the authority, he is the judge. That's basically, that's all that we need to get from it. You know, we don't have to take it any further than that. And so there's so many things here that dispensationalists split, split up, and they split up, you know, the church in Israel, basically, and uh, give these different roles and stuff for, for them, and, um, you know, we're all believers in Christ, and uh, so all the true Jews, the true Israel is all believers in Christ. I totally believe that now, and... Um, so they try to separate the judgment seat, the judgment seat of Christ. They try to separate the book of life, the Lamb's book of life. They try to separate the day of Christ and the day of the Lord. They try to separate uh, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. And on, on, on and on and on. Sometime I need to sit down and make a video of all these different things that they try to separate. But they're all the, they're the same thing. Different titles for different reasons. But it, they're speaking of the same thing. So anyways, I hope that you see that and there's not even a whole lot of verses to go to by this but you know that, that's just the way that it is the lamb's book of life is the book of life and it's saying that um, the book belongs to jesus jesus is god thank you for watching god bless